What's up everybody? Rob here to do a, a small update. I got one of my albums that I'm really excited about so I figured I'd open up. It's just two packages. Won't be long but I don't have a ton of stuff coming in so it's slow. I figured I'd just do a little video. I was trying to do it live but no matter what I use the camera is backwards and the only way I can do it is by using this without saying in the chat and using that but it's I haven't figured that out yet, so we're just going to do it here. First one's from Amazon. How's everybody's Friday night going? Hopefully good. It is Friday right now. Let's see any damage or anything. I've been pretty lucky with this lately. Nope, all good. Uh, this is a reissue of Lawrence Cherry Pie. Don't have it the OG press yet, but for 17 bucks, I think it was, you can't go wrong. Plus, I want it on vinyl. Uh, let me cut this off. It's like a gate bolt. Oh, here comes the plastic, guys. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Let's see that. Gotta see that sticker, right? So, you guys were at my live stream last night. Uh, I appreciate you guys you know, talking to me for over three hours again, almost four. Um, as you can see, it got taken down because I got a copyright strike. You know, all that great talk about Judas Priest's album and. You know how it's going to be hard to be for album of the year, how it's crazy, how guys in that age are tearing up. And what's that get me? Copyright strike. So that's why you don't see the video. Oh, the video is up there today and it won't let me take it down. So I don't know what that's about. Anyway, without the plastic on it. And I turned it into a gatefold, so I'm assuming the sleeve is just generic. Lyric there, the band there. For the money, it's got to be pretty much stripped down. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. Oh man, they ain't put any money to the sleep. Oh, it's on red vinyl. I did not know that. Makes sense. Cherry pile of red vinyl. Cherry red, I'm assuming. Anyway, pretty cool. Like I said, I don't have the OG. And I wanted, I wanted this when I seen it. But, uh, you know, the fantastic song, Ode to Tipper Gore. So there's that. I don't think there's anything inside of this. Let me look real quick. I really want to get to the next one. Nope, and just plain old, that's all you get, man. Straight out of this. Uh, Columbia Sony. Megaforce is actually the one that re reissued this which is weird but unless I don't unless I don't know that Columbia or Sony might have bought out Mega first don't recall that. Alright anyway there's that next is one I'm excited for got it on the cheap again I've been really really good with finding these hard to find ones for a reasonable price considering what they're going for. So that's been the fun part too of not only getting the album but finding it for a very reasonable price. Reasonable price. Now this I got really reasonable. This is actually in the states, so it didn't kill me for shipping either. So I got it really, really cheap. Uh, you guys looking for this? You know it's in that 40, 50 range. Which from EP, I, you know, but. It's a tough one to find. It's an independent label. And it's supposed to be. Uh, cardboard box. Alrighty. Yeah, it's got a little bend in the corner. Okay, well, it's not sealed like it's supposed to be, but okay. Uh, 
Alright. Well. A little less as described, but it's still in pretty fantastic uh, um, shape. Yeah, retail price was uh, $6.98. Uh, anyway, it's the Band Panther. I was talking about these guys the other day. This has been on my want list for a while, but I won't pay 40, 50 bucks for it. Um, Jeff Scott Soto would be the big, vocal, big member of this band. Who else was on this? Mike Parrish, Glenn Davis, Scott Taylor. I don't know. I don't think those guys really moved on to do much. But there's that. And there's that. This was supposed to be sealed, but it's not sealed. But that's all right. It's got the hype sticker on it still. Oh, wait a minute. I know you, some of you guys hate this, I'm sorry, but it's funny to me. It's like when you guys slide the vinyl back in uh, those, those sleeves and it drives me crazy. Anyway, there it is without the cover. It's got a little, little tear there. Um, it's got a little corner cut, which I knew the cut out. And that wasn't, you know, that's whatever. It's hard to find for what I got it for. I ain't mad at that. Uh, Buying is good. A little offset, but good. It does smell a little bit like smoke, though. I hate that shit. But, again, it's not terrible, but... Another one of the cool parts is it came with the... The merchandise. I figured this would still be in here because well, I'm back again real quick because I realized I just showed the cover and I didn't show the vinyl. <laughs> so I'm going to show that real quick and I'll edit this into the into the um, the video, like dumbass that I am. Any of my vinyl is oh man, it looks mint. It's clean. Doesn't smell like cigarettes. But uh, anyways, oof. it's on Half Wet Records, which is distributed by uh, Green World. Uh, you know, Green World, New Renaissance kind of company. But there's the label. It's how clean that is, right? Super clean. So there, there's the vinyl. I you know, show that like a dumbass. But now, thank you guys, and I will talk to you real soon.